I bet with Internet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Race number seven on the day, 1,400 meters the distance. And uh, we could say that this is the feature on uh, the day, the River Indigo Handicap. Four o'clock is the off time for the seventh race. Now, it is a field of uh, nine runners that have uh, come together for this contest. And uh, it looks to be a very, very nice race with some nice up and coming thrills, which I look forward to seeing in action. But uh, let's have a look at for sure when finishing second in the Beach Beauty Mile. Richard Missolberg, 300 to go. Mauritania the leader. Bomber Girl now let loose. Lengthen that stride at the 200 meter marker. And Bomber Girl goes on to own the inside. Running on late is for sure with a big run late on as they get to the line. Bomber Girl won it. For sure second. Sign of fate and Bosne in photos behind that. A very nice uh, horse is for sure, as is Bomber Girl, who uh, was the winner of that contest. But uh, for sure, last time out, I think she possibly uh, was unlucky to not win on uh, that occasion. She now gets uh, Seanville back aboard. Sean's unbeaten aboard her, two from two. And uh, this filly is drawn in gate number three. Good draw. In terms of the distance, I think 1,400 metres shouldn't be a concern. I know that she, her last three starts have been over 1,600 metres, but I think the drop-in trip could be ideal for her given that she does take on quite a competitive field. She's got a good draw, which I think is beneficial to her chances. Seanville can just get her slightly closer to the action instead of uh, having to come from, uh, from the back end of the field. And I think she's going to go very close to winning in this uh, event. She's an up-and-coming filly. I think she's got loads of scope for improvement still. I think there is a lot of ability there as well. And uh, I'm almost going to say that last time out she was a winner without a penalty when, be when running second to Bomber Girl. Now, behind on that occasion, was uh, this filly Minogue who subsequently has come through to win but Minogue could just be better over 1400 meters she's unbeaten over the trip two from two and she gets a, a pull at the weight with for sure as well in their last start she's two she's two cages better off with for sure for uh, a length a length beating so she could uh, certainly turn the form around I wouldn't be surprised if uh, she were to get closer to the action and she's definitely going to be a lively contender here. Number four, Twinkle Little Star. She ran second last time out behind Minogue. She is two and a half kgs better off at the weight. So she's waited to turn the form around with, no, with uh, Minogue as well. Nicholas Patel gets a ride. And her penultimate start just put a line through it. The conditions on the day did not suit her one bit. And uh, the connections were actually slightly... Uh, their confidence was, uh, was slightly lower heading into the race, uh, just seeing the results throughout the day and seeing how the conditions were. They thought that uh, the conditions could just get the better of uh, being a young filly that uh, still needs to st strengthen up quite a bit. So between the three holes, two, four, and seven, my preference is definitely for number three for sure. I think she's a filly that's uh, going places, as could Minogue and uh, Twinkle Little Star. They, all, they both could be horses that um, could win their fair share of races. But I'm going to take a chance in, uh, in the place accumulator. I'm going to bank in this filly for sure. I think she'll go close to winning. And then off the older horses, Lucky Miss is in uh, good form at the moment. Monashada win off this race last year when beating Lucky Miss. But Monashada won it on a mark of 89 last year. She now races off a mark of 95. So she's going to find life a lot tougher. Lucky Miss, when finishing second in this race uh, last year, she had 53 kgs on the back. This year, she's got 58 and a half, so it's not going to be easy. Therefore, I do believe that the three olds could hold all the aces. That's numbers three, four, and seven. I think they could certainly run first and second, and even third. But uh, first and second, I think, uh, seems uh, a likely, uh, a likely uh, result in race number seven. I'm going to be with a three, uh, with a three horse for sure. Seanville back aboard. I think that's uh, that's a huge positive for this individual. He'll be he'll be able to get her to settle early on in the race, and uh, I think she'll go close to winning. But healthy respect for numbers four and seven who are weighted to go very, very close in race. Number seven. Uh, my name's Danny Deliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. The communities we, s we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.